Using this board, you can control your TV, air conditioner, or any IR based device directly from your smartphone and from anywhere in the world. Let me show you a demo. As you can see, I am able to control my AC and TV through my smartphone and we can control any device which is based on IR remote, not just TV or AC. So if you have multiple IR remote based devices, then this project is for you. Now you can replace all the remote in your houses with your smartphone. Simple and easy solution. And for making of this project, I am going to use KMAE Smart IoT Cloud, which is free and very easy to configure. I have already made a dedicated video on KME Smart IoT Cloud where I have explained everything in detail. Check out that video if you want to learn more about this KME Smart Cloud app in detail. Uh, now let's get into this video. For making of this project, you will require a USB 32 board, IR receiver, IR transmitter and a LED for Wi-Fi and connect all these components as per this connection diagram. To make this project small and compact, I designed the custom PCB for it. And after designing the PCB, I gave its order to JLC PCB for PCB manufacturing. JLC PCB is a leading PCB manufacturing company in China. JLC PCB provides high quality and reliable PCB in a very affordable price. And ordering process of PCB from JLC PCB is very easy. Just you need to upload the Gerber file of your PCB. Select the quantity and select the color masking. And after that, click on save to cart to complete your order. And here, if you select the fastest shipping method, you will get your PCB delivered to your desired location within a week. After 5 days, I got my PCB in a very good packaging. As usual, the quality of PCB is very premium. And the PCB looks pretty professional. And this green color PCB looks very beautiful. And apart from this, JLC PCB also provides PCB assembly services, 3D printing services, and also they started multicolor silk screen PCB manufacturing services. So if you have any PCB project, do try out JLC PCB for your next projects. And all the important links are available in the description. Now open this kmaesmart.com website, you will get this link in the description. Open this website and then click on this installation option. In this page, you will get all the information about installation. Like how to pair in different mode, push button for pairing, pairing through smart connect, pairing through access point. Uh, now scroll down and here we need to download this KME tool to flash the firmware in the ESP32. Click on this button and download the KME tool for firmware flashing. Now open downloaded file and extract the compress.gif file. Now open extracted folder. Here you will get KME config application. Open this KME application. Here we will flash firmware in the ESP32 using this tool. Now here in right top corner, click on this 3 dash icon. Now connect ESP32 with your computer. From here select the COM port in which your ESP32 board is connected. After that click on this connect button. Now click on upload firmware. This KME tool will automatically detect the connected ESP32 boards in your computer and eventually upload the firmware. Easy and simple. Here firmware is successfully uploaded and it is ready for configure. Now again on the right top corner click on this plus icon button. Now from here we can add devices we want. Here we have option for DST sensor, contact, relays, RGB, dimmer, remote, IR hub, option for connecting separate Wi-Fi LED, option for pairing button. And here we have option for analog sensor. And in last we have option for fan. Among all this, I only require this IR hub button option and this Wi-Fi LED option. Let's configure this one by one. Click here to change the name of device. You can give any name you want. I am giving it universal IR remote. Now click here to select the transmitter and receiver pin. I have connected IR transmitter LED at pin number 18. And I have connected receiver at GPIO 15. Select these pins as per your hardware at which GPIO you have connected your transmitter and receiver. Now click here to select the pin output for Wi-Fi LED. I have connected Wi-Fi LED at pin number 5. Now select the state for Wi-Fi LED. That is what do you want, how your Wi-Fi LED will behave. 
should it will on when wi-fi is connected or on when wi-fi is not connected so select as per your desire i am selecting here on when wi-fi led is connected after doing all these configurations click here to save this device configuration file now click on this upload button to upload the firmware here firmware is successfully uploaded quick and easy here i have successfully configured the devices and upload the firmware now let's configure the smartphone app and pair the device with app you need to download this kme smart app in your phone and this app is available for both android as well as for ios download link of this app is available in the description now open this kme smart app in your case you need to sign up first i have already signed up so no need to do that again after that click on this plus icon on the right top corner then tap on add devices here enter ssid and password of your router or hotspot and make sure it is 2.4 gigahertz network uh, after giving wi-fi credentials tap on connect here it says select the mode that means how do you want to pair your device via smart connect or via access point for access point press the boot button for 2 seconds to make the module go into pairing mode via smart connect as you can see this wi-fi led start blinking in every after 1 second that means this module is in smart connect mode now in the app click on wi smart connect select the scan type as single device it will take few second to search and pair with esp32 here it got the devices now click on add device here if you want you can change the name of this device i am giving it universal ir remote as you can see esp32 is successfully connected to the app now open this device and you will find that two remote that is remote for air conditioner and remote for tv is automatically added if you want you can add more remote in my case i have only required these two remote only uh, now let's configure these remotes here i am going to use this tv remote and this ac remote of my house uh, now click on this three dash icon and then click on config mode now we need to configure the buttons of remote in the app for ac remote i am gonna add power on off button and temperature up down button uh, these buttons are mainly used in ac remote uh, so select the button in the app then press the same button in the remote it will automatically add the button next here i have selected temperature up button press the temperature up button in the app uh, it will automatically add in same way add temperature down button as well After configuring the AC remote, let's configure the TV remote as well. Uh, for TV remote, I am going to add power on up button and volume up down button, channel change button and uh, mute button also. Uh, first, I am going to add this power button. First, press the power button in the app, then press the power button in the remote as well. Uh, here, power button added successfully. Now, in same way, add all the buttons. Uh, here I have added all the desired button of AC remote and TV remote. Uh, now let's see how this will work. Uh, as you can see, Wi-Fi LED is on. This means our ESP32 board is connected to the Wi-Fi. Let's try to control AC and TV. As you can see, I am able to control my AC and also TV from this KME Smart app. Uh, that's it in this video. I hope you like this video and learn something new.
डाउनलोड दिस केमी स्मार्ट ऐप एंड मेक सम अमेजिंग प्रोजेक्ट ऑल द इम्पोर्टेंट लिंक्स आर अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो बाय बाय सी यू